You better go back to square one. Square one. Because it's exciting. Look at it. It's exciting. <laughs> So they asked him some questions about uh, life as a kid, like uh, his favorite baseball team. Uh, what was your favorite baseball team? The Boston Red Sox. Is it still your favorite? And in, and in these papers here, I've got, I went to the ballpark, Ted Williams had been drafted back into the Air Force. Uh, he had been a pilot near the end of the World War II, but the Korean War broke up, and they drafted him back. And I have the day that he came back to Fenway Park, and I wrote, it's in here somewhere, it's just a little story about going to the ball park, and Ted Williams got two hits and three hits, and the last time up he hit a home run, and the thing that stood out in my mind that's when they made the announcement, you know. Now playing left field, number nine. And everybody knew who number nine was. Yeah. It was Ted Williams. So, his, so he, he was probably, he, um, he saw Ted Williams there, and he did, but he'd lost five years of war. Yes. Between uh, oh, yeah. between the Korean War and the he lost uh, time yeah. with World War Two, yeah. so he got the double whammy. Yeah. yeah. Ted Williams said, uh, "Ted Williams is saying he's one of the greatest baseball players ever. Mm. Yeah, the greatest natural hitters ever." And I had hoped to get his autograph when my dad and I went down to Florida, uh -huh. and we went to the Red Sox training camp, and I asked one of the people who was working there. Is Ted going to be in today? And the guy said, probably not. He's up fishing in Maine. And he was a fisherman. Mm -hmm. He was in the All-Star of the Hall of Fame of Fishermen, too, as well as Baseball Hall of Fame. So, so I, I didn't get to meet him. I got Dad in the spring training. You did? That's yes. right. Yes, I, I got a press pass. I was his photographer. He was a photographer. And he wasn't expecting to get in because I had a press pass to get in. So I said to the guy, I said, um, I, I pointed him and I go, oh, that's my photographer from Illinois. So I got him a press pass too. But he got to meet Chuck Tanner, he got to meet uh, a bunch of people. Yeah. You know, like who? Oh, he's. The guy good. that spit tobacco juice between the. Yeah, that was Bill Buckner. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, Jim Rice. Jim Rice, I interviewed Jim Rice. One of the greatest hitters ever. Yeah. Did oh, you, yeah. Did you get into the locker room? Oh, yeah. You did? Roy Smalley. Oh, I talked to a lot of guys. Um, Kirby Puckett. Yeah. Played Kirby Puckett. Yeah. Um, boy, a lot of guys. I mean, well, I had done it. I was having the time of my life. That was a Minnesota team that was training. Right? Yeah. Yeah. People in my high school couldn't believe I got in the spring training baseball. Mm. You, you didn't get an autograph ball, did you? You do not ask for an autograph from a reporter. No. Oh, his middle name is Peter. Thomas Peter. Thomas Peter, I believe. Jump, Shambo, Ross Khan. Or Oil Ross Khan. Now I don't know what that means. You know the story about Tom McGreevy? Came from a poor family uh, in Ireland. And he used to work on a farm for some. Somehow or other, the owner of the farm, you know this story? <laughs> he offered a good portion of the farm to him if he would marry his daughter. Yeah. And it was, he decided not to marry her because she was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> well, who would want to marry someone who's ugly? 
He wasn't in love with her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Not even for the, not even if he got part of the farm. Yeah, he would have got part of the farm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now that you got me started on this again, you know what kind of gets me? When I went back to St. John's Cemetery some years back, and I went to the grave site, and there was this stone, limestone, monument. Not very big, maybe that high off the ground. And normally on the tombstone is the name and other things they put on it. I couldn't read anything that was on it because it was so old that the letters had coalesced together. And that tomb, tombstone is like a key you could replicate what it says on on there to open up other avenues. Mm-hmm. And I got a piece of tracing paper there was an art store not too far away. And so I went to the art store and I got this paper. It's real fine paper and it was big. And you put it down on the tombstone and I basically rub on it one side and take the image off the other side. Mm-hmm. But I never got a good copy of it. Mm-hmm. And like last time I I'm not sure what they were last summer. I don't think we did. I think it's been two years. You're rolling us? <laughs> so I know. What are you doing? Filming you. Filming? Yeah. Are you a film scout? He may be one in the future. <laughs> maybe maybe the Star Wars guys will hire you. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Yep. You want to work for Lego someday, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It'd be fun making being the designer of all the sets. Yeah. Yeah, but just remember that if your boss tells you to come in early the next day, what do you do? Come in early. Yeah. You better believe it. <laughs> Especially if you're with the military. Because yeah. Dak could have been cited for insubordination. <laughs> That's right. What did, they, what did he say to you? We don't want to talk about that. Uh, yeah, he, he used some language very choice, I'm sure, to, to get the message. Good, he was a good guy. To get the message through his head. <laughs> <laughs> the Air Force didn't want to have. surprised that I was a macro snacker. A macro snacker? Macro snacker. Macro snacker. That was the name for Catholics. Macro. Oh, really? They called us a, a Catholic a macro snacker? Yeah? Was he, was he Catholic too? Yes, he was. Really? He's a black guy. Really? Yeah, he's a good guy. His name was Morse. I think he was. Or maybe he was. I think his name was Morse. Morse. Wow, that right. This writing is so tiny, even with a mic. It's, it's yeah. It's too bad. Hide stuff. Yeah. You can't read some of this stuff. Don't lose my. And the tree there. No, she made a copy for me. Oh, okay. That's a copy. It takes a while to do that. Oh, it sure did. That's great work. Yeah.